everybody. Hey, Bjorn Rune Nelson sent me a donation for this here Halloween track by track album battle with Pink Bubbles Go 8 versus Master of the Ring. Now, man, it was a weird time for Halloween when Pink Bubbles Go 8 uh, was released. As I recall, it wasn't released in the United States. At least it wasn't released in the United States when it was new. And I remember seeing that album cover and thinking, what the hell? And I, you know, we didn't have internet and MTV was gone by then. We couldn't see no vid videos. So I didn't know how this album was. So I, I avoided it. I wasn't gonna pay import prices for that weird ass album cover. I don't know if Halloween totally changed their style or whatever. But then I finally did hear it. I, I can't remember, but I know it was way after the fact. And I loved it. I was like, man, this is a Halloween album. Yeah, some songs are a little iffy. But for the most part, it's a continuation of Keepers Part 2. You know, as far as musically. Though they do try to do something different here and there on this album. That I don't dig too much. But when they're Halloween, it rules. And Master of the Rings I love as well. Uh, but I've always liked that one. I like Andy Darius, you know. Uh, Master of the Ring, Time of the Oath, you know, those early ones they did with them. I really like them a lot. I own them, you know, uh, on CD. I think it's some good shit. All right, Bjorn, so let's get into this. All right, we start off with Pink Bubbles Go 8 versus Irritation. Both are little instrumental. Pink Bubbles Go 8, it's a goofy little intro where Irritation sounds like some lame Disneyland garbage. Don't like it at all. It's trying to get all classical and shit. Doesn't work for me. I, I'll go with the goofy one. I'm giving that to Pink Bubble. All right, next. Kids of the Century versus Soul Survivor. Let me tell you, Soul Survivor, killer tune, but it loses. Kids of the Century is like my second favorite song on this album. Absolutely love it. I love the video, too. It's so crazy. You know, the video, too, if... if if you watch the video with no music, it'd be like, man, I bet this song sucks because it's such a weird video. But no, I, I love the song. It wins. All right, next. Back on the Streets versus Where the Rain Grows. Now, Back on the Streets is a killer, killer song. Where the Rain Grows is a killer, killer, killer song. Yes, an extra killer. I'm giving it to Where the Rain Grows. I love that song. All right, next. Number one. See, now now this I, I, I don't like. It's Halloween trying to do something different, and it just doesn't work. And that's going against why. Uh, this song's not great, you know. But, you know, it's not really bad either. It, it wins, but it's not really a great tune. All right, next. Heavy Metal Hamster. Uh, this song is as goofy as the title. And that's going against Mr. Ego. I don't like this song at all. It's my least favorite song on here. I would say it's my least favorite song off both albums. Don't like it at all. It loses. I'm giving it to that goofy ass heavy metal hamster. All right, next. Going Home. Now, this is more like it. Hard driving tune. This is what I want. From my Halloween. And that's going against Perfect Gentleman. Another song I just don't like. It loses. Giving that to Pink Bubbles. Alright, next. Somebody's Crying versus The Game Is On. Um, Somebody's Crying is ripping, man. A fat song. You know, total Halloween. And The Game Is On, you know, it's almost a good song. Uh, the solos are great in that song, but no, I'm going to give it to Somebody's Crying. All right, next, Mankind. This one, it's okay. It's not great. It's all right. Versus Secret Alibi. This one, it's a little more catchy, but I don't think it's that great. And also, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with Mankind. I'm giving that to Pink Bubbles. Both are mediocre. All right, next, I'm Doing Fine. Crazy Man. Uh, this is a fast-paced but odd tune. 
and that's got some really crazy changes. And that's going against Take Me Home. I really like this song. Total win for Master of the Rings. All right, next, The Chance. This is my favorite track off of Pink Bubbles. Totally killer. And that's going against In the Middle of a Heartbeat, where I don't care for this ballad. Not good. Loses. Pink Bubble gets that. Now we're down to the last tune. And it's a song called Your Turn. And this one is a ballad as well. But I like this ballad. It's really good. And that's going against Still We Go. What a badass song. This is my favorite song off of Master of Rings. The last tune. Still We Go. Total win. So Bjorn, this is the final score. You see, Pink Bubbles win. I think Pink Bubbles is a better album too. Out of both of them. No, I do but dig them both. So there you go, Bjorn. I hope you enjoyed your track by track, buddy. You know you rule, and I appreciate you, man. I really do. And everybody out there, I appreciate you still watching this. I hope you enjoyed it as well, and I hope you're subscribed to my channel. In case you're not, please subscribe to my channel. Ring that little notification bell, and leave me some comments below if you're aware of these two Halloween albums. I'd love to know what you think. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them on cob.